In 1994, Pedro Zamora became the first openly gay, HIV-positive man on television when he appeared on MTV's The Real World. Hello, Pedro. It's President Clinton. I just called to tell you I was thinking about you and praying for you. This is Pedro's story. Follow them as they go through frame. Hi, I'm Pedro. The cast moved in February 12, 1994. We all lived in this amazing house, cameras following our every move. From the creators of the real world comes a film about one man's hope. I love you. I love you too. One man's fear. It'll be okay. I hate it when people say that everything's gonna be okay, because it won't. And one man's courage to make a difference. Just promise me you'll keep the cameras going every step of the way, no matter how bad it gets. On April 1st, witness what happened when one man's personal journey was shared with millions. They were all stars overnight, but nobody more than Pedro. You say it's uncomfortable or it's too tight. If your partner tells you a condom is too tight, have them see a doctor. Everybody keeps asking about you. They see how famous you are being on TV. Front page of the Wall Street Journal, look how famous you are. Living your life on camera, you find yourself acting out in ways you normally wouldn't. They say I refuse to put up with your shit. Let's be honest, Tuck and Pedro were both divas. You're the one who's a little kid. So make a grown-up decision. You know what? Either I'm out or he's out. I feel manipulated and lied to. Her story is not why I'm here. And you could not make me be a part of it. There's always something special about him. I just want you to realize that people with AIDS are just like you. You don't have to be afraid of them. You're Pedro, right? From the real world. I just came out to my folks because of you, man. So was it love at first sight? Are you kidding me? In the big scheme of things, it doesn't matter whether I die of AIDS or where I survive. What matters is that I stood up and I was counted. And I said I'm a person living with HIV. And this is who I am.